Okay, back to Photoshop. I'm just going to uh, revert this. Okay, so we've got our um, we've got our image again. Now mm -hmm. I'll just I'll just show you with uh, with this. If we select it all and we copied it and we tried doing the same thing that we've been doing, make a new channel, pasting it under the filter. You have a thing under um, Oh, uh, pixelate. Copy. Oh, no, sorry. What am I talking about? Uh, filter gallery is where it is. So you have an option that's called a halftone half -tone pattern. And uh, ironically, uh, this has done a pretty good. Uh, job of it. You can give it a bit more uh, contrast. But, um, but in general, this can be kind of problematic depending on the um, depending on the image that you're using. That's funny that it's done quite a good job there though. So I'll take you through the, um, the bitmap process so that you can see that and we'll, we can compare them later on anyway. So with this, if I, I'll just get rid of that cat. If I duplicate this, so I'm gonna duplicate it, uh, I'll duplicate it three times. So under image, under mode, you have uh, a whole lot of settings, CMYK and RGB we're used to, um, lab color and multi-channel we haven't used, index color, uh, usually with um, when you're saving uh, images for web and you split it down to a certain number of colors, uh, grayscale, which I'm gonna change it to for a start. I'll just go merge and discard. So I've got that. I'm gonna do the same thing with my um, levels. I can make this a, a darker version. And I'm just gonna quickly do that with, um, with all of them. Merge and discard. This one I'll get the, the lighter option where there's just a few things starting to come through. I'll go okay. So we're doing the same thing, three images again. So this one's gonna be my one that's in the middle. Okay, okay. Now, this process here, if we go image, mode, bitmap, yep, flatten layers is, um, uh, is fine. Um, <coughs> this, this is a, a, an old process that not many people um, use now. It used to be when you wanted to take black and white images into uh, InDesign or something like that so that you could color them. This was the uh, process that you'd have to use. Now there's a whole lot of options, but I'm gonna have it on halftone screen. Now you have input and output. Usually what your input is, is you have it at least the output three times higher than your input. And what this does, is when it creates the dots for the halftone pattern or whatever it's creating, 
it creates them with more detail. Otherwise, it can end up being a bit pixelated. So I'm just going to leave it on a thousand. I go OK. And this is where it gets interesting as you have the shape, brown, diamond, ellipse, uh, line, cross and stuff. So if I choose line so you can have a look. The frequency, so I've got angle, so 45 degrees, but the frequency is how detailed it's going to be. So I'll just give you a couple of examples. So 25, if I go OK. It's very, very, um, it's very, very fine. So you can see it's like, um, it's like looking at a banknote. This kind of technique that goes through it. So if I go Command Z, it's back to grayscale. So I have to go through that process again. Bitmap a thousand. Okay, and this time, if I make it five, is the frequency. It's made it a little bit coarser, but it hasn't made a huge difference. So if I go um, Command Z, back to bitmap, flatten. Now, so it will have um, a bigger response. If I take this output down, because I had it so high, 500, let's go OK, and we'll try it on five again. And you can see it's starting to become a bit coarser. So let's exaggerate that even more. Bitmap. I'll make it 300. So it's going to be a bit more than three times the, the size. Five. Let's try it on three. And now you can see the lines are really starting to starting to come through. So let's go through and do this as dots and see how it um, see how it layers up. Uh, so mode, bitmap. I'm going to check it back up a bit. I'm going to put it back up to 800. Half tone screen. This time I'm going to change it to round and I'm going to put it on, I'll try 15. And you can see those dots there. I've just gone Command Z, so I'm going to try it again. So I get a formula I like. So I'm going to try a thousand again. Go OK. This time I'm going to try it on five. And do it again one more time. Bitmap. I'll try 800. All right. I'll leave it at that. So I'll do, I'll keep that same frequency. I suppose I could change it up a little bit if I want, but we have another go. Mode, bitmap with the next image, flatten, okay, 800. I'll try three. So it is a different 
frequency. Cool. See that in there. The last one, image mode, bitmap, 800. I try changing this again, the frequency up to a thousand. Oh, no, actually, I might have to keep them all the same because that will change the um, size when I flick it, flick it back. So I'll just mess with the frequency. So I'll try this one back up on 15. Okay, and I've got my screening. Now, all of these bitmaps need to change again. So if I go grayscale, it will say a size ratio of one, one to one, and that's what I want, so okay. Next one. One to one again. Next one. Again, one to one. Now all of these I'm going to load up on one image through the channel. So if I select all of this, And in this case, I cut it in the channels, making a new channel, and I paste it. That's my main um, image now, so I'll go to the next one. Cut it. Go back to my first image and paste it. So I can I can get rid of that one now. I don't need it. This one, select all, cut it, close that. I don't need it, and I'll paste it. Now I want to I want to color them. So at the moment it's just in grayscale. So I'm going to go mode and change it back to RGB. Okay, and now we're back to the, um, the, same, uh, the same point where we were before. So if I go to my layers and I'll bring up the, the solid color adjustment layer. And I think last time I had a kind of dark purple color, so I'll go with the same again. And back to the um, channels here. So I'm going to select one load it up, back to the uh, layers, I'm starting to slow down a, um, a wee bit here machine so a um, couple more new layers okay okay so the next one load it up into the layers Give it a middle tone.
And lucky last, back to the channels. Uh, maybe I've got it the, um, the wrong way around with that. I can't see now. Layers. Yeah, this looks like it's um, doing a bit more. So I'm going to fill that one. And I think it was um, this one here that was a little bit less. So this should have been the one that was lighter. Okay, Option Shift Delete, and that's it. So um, the same, the same process as before, but now we're ending up with um, uh, now we're ending up with something that has that kind of newspaper um, newspaper screening, All right? More control over the detail of the image, but still essentially just with those black and white screens that we would color, color up in a number of ways. The one thing that's missing off this image is right at the beginning, I should have made a, um, a mask so that I could clear out that, uh, clear out that background. Because without that, I have no control over this um, background and can't keep it as, can't keep it as white. I suppose, um, I'm not quite sure if I've still got the, ah, no, I um, uh, purged it before, so it's probably not there. And I don't know if this one will line up or just, I'll just try it, see if it will paste in here. No. You can see that um, uh, with this, how tiny the image has come in. It's because now that we've played around with it and we've taken it through the bitmap process, we've changed the resolution. And so now um, uh, this image is massive. So it's got a lot more um, detail in it. And it's probably why it's starting to... Um, uh, Go a bit crazy. So you can see, you can see down here in the corner that because um, uh, because when I changed the resolution and I went more than three times up, I went from seventy two up to eight hundred as the output. The size of the image that I'm working with now it's like uh, one point eight um, gigabytes, and it's because I've upped the resolution and then when I've changed it back into grayscale and then into RGB has become a much, much bigger file. So this is another way that you can kind of start to scale things if you want to do it with this kind of dotty, dotty process.